Hi, in this video, we're going to look at tree map charts in Excel 2016. So a tree map chart is a hierarchical chart. So with our data, we have a top level category of branch location. So you can see that Winchester, Portsmouth, Chichester, Southampton, etc. And then we have a subcategory within our data, which would be product type. So you can see that here, hardware, sports, toys and children, etc. So the branches within the tree map chart are represented by these larger rectangles. And you can see that each branch has a different color just to make it kind of more visually obvious within the chart. Then the smaller rectangles represent the subcategories within our data. So we can see hardware, sports, toys and children are the smaller rectangles within the larger ones. Now the size of the rectangles represent the values. So I can see from here that Brighton and Hove have made a lot less sales than the Winchester branch just by looking at the size of the Brighton and Hove rectangle. But also if I look at the size of the smaller sub branches, I can see that, for example, software and hardware are very different sizes. So software represents a smaller sales value than the hardware rectangle, which is slightly larger. So let's look at how to create a tree map chart. So I've got some data here. Uh, each row represents a subtotal of revenue uh, split up into branch and product group. So let's start to make the chart. I click anywhere in the data, go up to the insert tab on my ribbon. In the charts group, I've got a button called insert hierarchy chart. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to go and select this tree map chart type. Just make it a little bit bigger so you can see exactly what's going on. And the first thing you'll probably notice is that each of the branches, each of the store locations, has more than one rectangle. That isn't actually what we want. We'd want each branch to be represented by one rectangle. Now, the reason this is happening is that our data isn't sorted correctly. So our top category within our data, which is our branch or store location, will need to be sorted. So I'm going to click into that column. Again, I don't need to select the whole column, just click into an item within the column. I go to the Home tab on my ribbon. I go over to Sort and Filter in the Editing group, and I'm going to sort A to Z. And now you can see that each branch or store location has its own rectangle. Now it's important to understand what type of data to use for a tree map chart. These subtotals are grand totals of all book sales, all electronic sales, all hardware sales, all software sales. So you're going to have to do these calculations in another sheet or something like that to come up with these totals. To understand why you need to do that, I will just replace electronics for Brighton and Hove with books. So I've got two lots of books here. So the chart will not add up those two sets of revenue and give you a single rectangle within your tree map chart. If you look over here, you've got two rectangles representing books now. So I'll undo that and have electronics back in there, but just realize that all these calculations you're going to have to do somewhere else if you're starting from some raw data that lists every single item of book sales in a particular branch. So let's look at a few options you have with tree map charts. The first thing we're going to do is change the way in which these branch locations are displayed. We're actually going to show them in banners over each of the major rectangles. And I'm going to achieve that by right clicking into one of the rectangles and selecting Format Data Series from the shortcut menu, which opens up this task pane. 
I'm then going to go to Banner and Banner places the branch name at the top of each rectangle. The other thing I'm going to do is show the value against each label. So the value for the individual smaller rectangles. To do that, I'm going to right click on one of the labels and go to Format Data Labels. In this task pane, I'm going to choose Value. And you can now see that the value appears underneath or against each of the labels. Now, the other thing you might want to do is create another tree map chart that shows product group as your top category and within that branch as your subcategory. So to do that, I'm going to copy this sheet and recreate the tree map chart with that in mind. So to copy a sheet, I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard and drag this sheet tab to the right. And you'll see you get, you get a little black triangle indicating where the copy of the sheet will be positioned. I'm going to let go of my mouse and I've created a duplicate of that sheet. I'm going to delete my existing tree mat chart on this sheet. And what I'm going to have to do is change the order of these two columns. So product group becomes the leftmost column because I want this to be my top category field. Now to do that, I can click in the column heading for that column. And I'm going to use the shortcut key control shift down arrow key to select to the bottom of the column or to the last consecutive value within that column. I'm then going to swap these two columns in terms of their position. To do that, I hold down Shift on my keyboard. I go to the border of my selection and I drag to the right until I can see a little beam. You see, I've got a horizontal beam there. I don't want that. And then I've got a vertical beam there. Let go of my mouse and it swaps the position of the two columns. I then can recreate my chart but you've probably remembered hopefully you have that i need to sort this top category field so i click into an item of the data on my home tab i go to the sort and filter button a to z and then i'm ready to go i go to the insert tab on my ribbon i go to the insert hierarchy chart button and i'm going to insert a tree map chart and there we are, I've got my data represented in a different way. Major category is now by product group. And within that, I've got a breakdown of sales per branch. So there we are, there's our introduction to the tree map chart, brand new in Excel 2016. Hopefully that's been helpful.